comes from out the sky There's one place to be When the moon hangs high Oh, oh, oh how can you help but find love With a moon to light your way Two happy hearts behind love oh, Can face another day so What can I do for you bandits? <laughs> you got any mail today for the bar 20? There it is. I hope your gal forgot to write to you this week, Mr. Nelson. If she did, I'm holding you responsible. I've got something else inside for the bar 20. Put your hands, young men. Which is what I was talking about. <laughs> you wouldn't really shoot a couple of innocent young cow nurses, now would you, ma'am? Did I hear you say bar 20? That's where I'm going. I'm Clarissa Peters. Buck's sister? Gee, I'm sure happy to meet you, ma'am. I'm Johnny Nelson, and this is Red Connors. How do you do? And we're sure sorry we scared you, ma'am. Yes. Scared? Me? You're lucky I didn't kill you both. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You may bring down my trunk. It's up here. Where's the carriage? Carriage, ma'am? Certainly. Do you think I intend to walk? Where is this ranch? Five miles on, ma'am. I'm certain your brother had the carriage waiting at the crossroads for you. <laughs> I'll see you two later. Yeah. See us later. Johnny, I'm scared she means it. There must be one in there for me, Buck. Don't seem to be, Johnny. <laughs> she done forgot you, kid. I reckon not. Well, here's one from Wyoming after all. But not for you, it's for Bill Cassidy. Cassidy. Maybe she ain't so dumb as we thought, hey, Buck? It ain't for Margaret, it's from a pa. Hope old man Arnold ain't in trouble. Well, if he is, me and Bill can take care of it. <laughs> a lot of help you'll be at Bill Cassidy. Why, yes. you! <laughs> <laughs> Stop that! Stop it! Now, you red-headed galoot! Stop that! Stop that fighting! You rat scatting you! Stop it! Stop that! The boys are only skylarking, Clary. Funny way to skylark. They're always at it. Uh, this is Johnny and Red. Boys, this is my sister. We've met before. Welcome to bar 20, ma'am. Perhaps you can work off some of your high spirits carrying in my trunk. Orders, Johnny. Hop to it, kid. I gotta take this to Bill Cassidy. Well, I never. Young man, 
You may bring in my trunk. Well, I, uh, but, uh... Yes? Steady, boy. Oh, boy. Now, I'll teach you some manners. You want to play, huh? Come on now, steady. Over. Oh. 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 Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, now. Jimmy! I got something to give you. I got something I'd like to give you, too. You know in one second you just ruined four months' work with that horse? Gee, I'm sorry I yelled, but I brought you this. Thanks. It's from Margaret's pa, Hoppy. Did you get one from Margaret? Nah, I didn't hear from her. Ah, maybe there's one in here for you. Maybe so. What's the matter? What's he say? Something wrong? Well, uh, not exactly, but... Johnny, I think you better call off that trip you're planning to the Arnold. So that's it. He don't want me. Well, Margaret will be glad to see me anyway. Well, that's... that's just it. Uh, she's, uh... She's kind of changed her mind. There's somebody else. I don't believe it. That's what it says right here in the letter, Johnny. Well, it's all right with me. There's lots of other girls. What you need is a little fun. Why don't you come and help me with this horse? I'll see you later. I see Buck, we'll, uh... And I want every carpet in this house taken up and beaten. And Red Collins can do that. Oh, lady. Oh, yeah? Huh. Oh. <laughs> so, there you are. Uh, Clarissa, this is Bill Cassidy, my foreman. Glad to know you. How do you do? You may help Mr. Connors with the carpets. I'm sure sorry, ma'am, but Red and me is picking on leaving for Wyoming, right off. Anything to get out of working. 
I'm going up to Johnny's wedding. Johnny's, Johnny's wedding? Mm -hmm. Johnny left for Wyoming three hours ago to marry Margaret Arnold. Well, if that ain't just like him, heading right smack into trouble. What's wrong? Arnold's having wrestler trouble. Red and me going up to help him out. Good for you. Your jobs will be waiting for you. That's fine. Thanks, Buck. Take care of yourself. Nevada. In there. Hey, you better not go in there now. Since when do you come in here without knocking? But, but boss, this is important. I'll tell you whether it's important or not. Now what is it? I just saw somebody headed toward the Arnold Ranch. You rode up here 20 miles just to tell me that. Truly, your devotion is touching. But, boss, you ain't heard who he is. It's that Johnny Nelson from the Bar 20 outfit. The hombre who was up here last year to see the Arnold gal. Miss Arnold Healer. You may have two drinks out of my private bottle. Two, mind you, no more. I find his theories on warfare invaluable, Healer. Although I fear he lacked a finesse in dealing with the fairer sex. Of course, such matters might be beyond your comprehension. I said to. Have my horse saddled. I'm going down to the Valley Ranch. And then I believe I'll ride over and visit the Arnolds. Margaret? You ready? Well, you're not going riding in bed. Daddy, I don't want to ride. You don't mind, do you? Honey, sometimes I'm almost sorry I sent you away to school at Boston. Why, Daddy, I loved every minute of it. Yeah, that's just it. You loved it. Now you don't like the ranch anymore. No, I did hope that you and young Johnny Nelson would... It's Mr. Perdue. Hey, darling, be real sure before you make any promises. He hasn't asked me yet. Each time I see you, you're more charming. <laughs> Won't you come in out of the wind? Yes, do. It's a long ride over from your place. All that's forgotten in the pleasure of being here. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, thank you. 
Have you thought of my offer for this ranch? You must admit it's reasonable. Yes, it's more than that. It's generous. For a ranch that's been raided and burned over. Well, then why not sell? Yeah. Let me take on the fight against these mysterious raiders. Well, I have every weapon you lack. Men, money. But do this ranch is my home and Margaret's. I'm not selling. And even Nevada and all his outlaws can't drive me off it. My friend, your very life is in danger. This man, Nevada, seems to stop at nothing. I'll take my chances on that. There won't be much to worry about when the Twitchell Road herd comes through. How many steers are you shipping with them? Five hundred. That's just about all I've got left. I suppose that doesn't seem very many to you with your big outfit. Big, yes. But nothing to what I will have someday. I intend to be the biggest cattleman in this state. Dad, there's a new colt in the summer born. That's old Blackie's baby. Tea? No, thank you. But I would like to see the colt. Let's. There he is. Isn't he darling? Thoroughbred. Oh, how lovely. N, what does that stand for? Napoleon. It was his favorite snuff box. It's lovely. Margaret, I have something to say to you. <laughs> Johnny Nelson. <laughs> Need any good cowhands, ma'am? This is Johnny Nelson, Mr. Perdue. Our neighbor, Johnny. Howdy, sir. Pleasure is mine. Oh, well, that's right nice of you. Well, I'm sure glad to get here. You'll excuse me. Oh, don't go. A nice old fella. Friend of your pa's? A very good friend. Well, here we are. I don't know why you're always talking about Boston. It's just a city, ain't it? It's a wonderful city where you don't have to worry about cattle rustlers and outlaws. Washing dishes. What do they do in Boston? Throw them away? They have servants. Well, anybody I marry is going to do the dishes. And my shirts, too. I am very particular about my shirts. You needn't bother to explain. Just take those out in the kitchen and wash them. Hey, Margaret, have you told him yet about liking Purdue better? Not yet. I don't want to hurt him. Are you being mighty unfair to Johnny. I, uh, I dropped a saucer. Now you stay out of there, young man. Ah, oh, well, I never was much good in the kitchen anyway. I've got the 500 head bunched up in the coolie with two men on them. Yes, I'll be mighty glad when they shipped away. Ah, you don't think Nevada'd try anything with me around, do you? Well, maybe he don't know you were here. Here's where we use a little of Napoleon's strategy. A divided attack to conceal our main objective. On with you. Let's go! Oh.
back to the herd. We can't get out there to fight them off. You hurt, Pop? No, I'm all right. Stay with him. Give me a lift. There you are. Oh. Cinco. Who do you want to have your share? expect to live forever, my friend. We all have to die sooner or later. Better get to work. There's plenty to do around here. I hear eggs. Fresh eggs. Gee, I hope breakfast is ready. Wait a minute, Red. I've got an idea I'll be more helped to Arnold if I keep under cover a while. Ain't you gonna let him know that you're here? You're riding in and tell Arnold I want to have a private talk with him out here, without anybody listening. Johnny will be glad to know that you're... You're gonna tell Johnny you're alone. A kid trusts too many people. Be kind of careful, will you, Hoppy? Why, you rusty-headed, bold-legged cow rascal, you're trying to scare me? Go on, them eggs are calling you. Will you, Margaret? Johnny Nelson! <laughs> I just think I was worried about you. Howdy, Margaret. Thought I'd better speak up before you drop them eggs. Why, you old groundhog, where'd you jump up from? Hiya, Johnny. Where's Hoppy? Just where I left him, I suppose. Didn't he come with you? Margaret? You think I can speak to your pa about a job? Why, well, yes. You come at a good time, Red. Yeah? A couple of the boys got shot last night. Johnny, no. take those eggs. Sure. Come on, Red, I'll show you where to hang up your hat. Good. It's no use, Bill. I'm licked. And after me coming all this way just to set in on the game. Well, we don't even know who this Nevada is. Why don't we go in there and smoke him out with 45? Well, that's been tried. But there's 20 or more canyons crisscrossing and twisting and turning up there. And we never get very far in before they ambush us and chase us back. So you see... I'm going in there, Jim. Well, they'll get you the first 50 feet with a bullet. I don't reckon so. I'm going in kind of peaceful-like. From the north. Bill, if you could just locate those skunks... <laughs> I got a powerful keen nose, Jim. Well, 
thing I'm going to do when I strike it rich? I'm going to buy you a porterhouse steak bigger than a blacksmith's apron. Yes, sir. No more bacon and beans for us. Why, if it hadn't been for that big snowstorm in Colorado back a couple of years ago, you and me'd be living in the Waldorf Astoria right now. Don't you worry. <laughs> we'll get there yet. Yes, sir. I got an idea we're going to turn up a few nuggets today. Certainly is a fine day for digging. It sure is, boss. I say it's a good day for digging. Good morning. Pretty fresh, ain't she? Who are you, anyhow? Named Riley. Tex Riley. A peaceful pilgrim. Eh? Them guns don't look so all fired peaceful to me. Well, I just wear them to keep my legs warm. Why, they're plumb rusty. I do all my fighting with a deck of cards. Gambler, eh? Plum rusty, eh? <laughs> So's Grease Lightning. The only other fella I ever see could draw guns that fast was Hopalong Cassidy. You ever hear of him? Seems to me I have somewhere. You stranger in these mountains? I was headed south through the buttes. Kind of lost my way. My advice is to uh, turn back and go around. Buttes ain't healthy. Oh, shucks. I was counting on you showing me the way. Me? No siree, Bob. Well, of course, if you're scared. I ain't scared of nothing. Why, me and Hopalong Cassidy and the rest of Bar 20 outfit, we cleaned up the worst gang of rustlers in the state of Texas. You don't say. Why, me and Cassidy say... Uh, I'd like to hear about it, but I reckon I'd better be on my way. Well, you might stop and have a bite of breakfast first. Oh, I'd better keep going, since I had to find my own way. Now, hold on. Wait a minute. I ain't said I ain't going. Well, in that case... As I was saying, me and Cassidy say we was just like that. What you getting ready for? I aim to do some trailing up in the buttes. Who's been scaring you? When we had rustlers at the bar 20, we went looking for them. Now, I like your spunk, Johnny. But you'd spoil any chance we have of carrying out our plans. Then why ain't I been told about them? Son, there's times when cool-headed thinking can do a lot more than fighting spirit. Meaning I don't use my head. Just an animated massacre in pants. That's you. Why now, you? When the time comes, we're counting on that gun of yours, Johnny. And counting big. Yeah. Well, we seem to be getting near a ranch. Yeah, too dirty near. Well, I think from here on I can make it alone. The last time I'm warning you, turn back. Now, why? First thing you know, you'll be meeting up with some of them bad hombres of Nevada. I'd sure be glad. I'm getting kind of rusty on my poker playing, too. Afraid some action. Yeah. That's the case. Better take this rabbit's foot for a look. <laughs> Thanks, old timer. Hop along, Cassidy yourself shot that rabbit. You don't say. Yes, sir. Well, go wrong, Tex. Play him close to the chest. You bet. Just like your friend Cassidy. That's a ticket. You can't lose. Goodbye. <laughs> in the air How the time flies by For each lucky pair A melody Comes from out the sky There's one place to be 
when the moon hangs high. How can you help but find love with the moon to light your way? Two happy hearts behind love can face another. The moonlit sky, open up your heart when the moon hangs high. You still thinking about going back to Boston? Oh, Johnny, I don't know. Well, now listen, we got to talk this over. Jeff. Yes, quite a close call. I wish you'd change your mind about selling out. Oh, not now. Looks like we're about to have a reckoning with this skunk in Nevada. Good. I can't explain now, but when the time comes... You'll find me more than willing to do my part. Oh, Johnny, I'm so confused. I can't like it here. You're gonna like it here. Just wait and see. I'm here now. What, Margaret? I was under the impression that Miss Arnold and I had reached an understanding. Oh, Johnny, I wanted to explain. But of course, if she prefers the attentions of a common cowhand... Why, you? ...and a gunman, too. Well, why not shoot? It's the only way your kind can speak for itself. I'd advise you to send him back where he came from. Purdue, you're forgetting one thing. This is still my ranch. Where'd you come from? Well, it's about time somebody showed up. I was getting powerful hungry. Who are you and what are you doing here? Name's Tex Riley. Just now I'm hanging around hoping for an invite to grab a tin plate and a bucket of coffee. You ain't a parson? <laughs> no, hardly. But I can preach a sermon, and have. You're off the trail. Where are you headed for? South. I was told to ride around these buttes, but I reckon I knowed better and could find a shortcut. Well, here I am. And I'm darned if I know where that is. This is the AAA. We graze horse from a lot of different outfits here. Oh. First place to run on two and three days ride. And I was figuring on a little easy pickings on the way. Three card? Most anything. Three card, three shell, draw, or stud horse. Well, if you expect to win any sizable amount, hombre, you better be pretty good at dealing. Some of us know a few things, too. Anytime you crave action, I'm ready. Store your roll inside. We'll wait and see what the boss has to say when he gets here. Thanks. I reckon you got cards in that pack. Sure. Any kind you want. I got a deck of my own. Who do you think he really is? I don't know yet. But he better be what he says he is. Oh, nice little straight you got started there. I can read them myself. Oh, no harm meant. Four to you. Nine to you. Jack. Pair of jacks. Pair of queens bet. I'll bet 50 on these two ladies. 
Well, it's too late to drop out now. I'll ride along. Deal me out. Where did that white horse come from? I was just going to tell you, boss. Nine to you. Possible straight. Ace of spades to you, Layton. That's a bad card. Deal me out. Jackson five. Well, elbows, it looks like it's you and me. I'll check to that four card straight. Five card straight, Mr. Riley. It cost you plenty to see it. You better save your money, elbows. I got you beat. You think so? I'll cover that bet. Six, seven, eight, nine. That three you got in the hole don't fit in so good. Those cards are marked. That pack was marked before we started to play. And you all knew it. How do you know they were marked? Because I got a deck of my own outfit, just like I them. didn't know they were marked. I got a magnifying glass in my pocket if you want to take a look at them. He don't have to look. He'll take my word for it. What do you say we start all over again with a new pack? Nice and clean. That suits me. Sure. Riley, you want it inside. I understand you play poker, Mr. Riley. So I've been told. I find chess more to my liking. Are you familiar with the game? Don't look lively enough for me. The great Napoleon knew most of its principles and used them in his campaigns. I reckon I'd better stick to a game I know, Mr. They usually call me boss. It does very well. What brought you here? Good luck. Leastwise, I hope so. Them canyons play funny tricks with a stranger. Let me see those guns. They're resting right easy where they are. I ain't fool enough to start any gunplay with that rifle point at my back. This is private, Jack. Oh, won't you sit down, Mr. Riley? Thanks. I hope you don't mind my staying over tonight. I'll be on my way the first thing in the morning. If somebody will show me the way out of these darn buttes. Friends waiting? No, no friends. Just a man I got a little score to settle with. Who might that be? Nelson's his name. He's up here from the bar 20 to get married. I see, Nelson. Yeah, he accused me of cheating him up in Eagle. He got his bar 20 friends together, cleaned out my layout, burned down the saloon, and drove me out of town. I swore I'd get even with him if it took me 10 years. And when I heard he was up here, I come a-running. I have an idea, Mr. Riley. That you might be of great assistance to me. drink. Last of Arnold's herd. Well, it's hardly worth going after that few. 
We came here for other reasons, Mr. Riley. nursing cows again. <laughs> Suits me fine. So nice and quiet. That's young Nelson. Well? Uh, my guns ain't so good from this distance. Take this. That finishes Mr. Nelson. You're a very good shot, Mr. Riley. So I've been told. I tell you it is. Ah, you're crazy. Hey, Red. You hit hard? No. Lay low, kid. I don't think they got us. the old buzzard messing around here, gold digging. I guess I can go where, please. So Arnold sent you up here spying, did he? he did not. I ain't been down that way in six weeks. How about it, boss? Well, if it ain't the old windbag himself. Last time I seen him, he was hightailing it to get out of these buttes. Trying to get me to do the same thing. Reckon they had you wrong. Thought you was an honest gambler. Go on, go on, shoot me, you uh... Bandits, what'll you do? Haunt us? <laughs> oh, he's a harmless old coot. Hey, he can sure cook a tasty bean, too. Might put him to work, boss. I ain't cooking for nobody. Put an apron on him. Much obliged for the chance to square accounts with that Nelson hombre. Oh, that, my friend, is merely a side issue. My quarrel is with Arnold. I reckon he's licked. By this time tomorrow, there won't be a building standing on his ranch. Oh, hey! Remember, I'm an invalid. Ah, uh, just trying to get out of work, that's oh, all. Yeah. I sure wish Hoppy was here. Because I can't understand why he hasn't signaled. Then he is here. Why wasn't I told? Because he's playing a lone hand, that's why. Then that was his horse, and that means something's happened to him. Looks that way. If I could find my way, I'd get in there and keep shooting till they got me. Well, let's go. We can make it. It's no use, kid. Cassidy was to send up a smoke fire to show us which canyon to head for. We've got to wait. Wait? Something's happened to Cassidy. If we don't see that signal by sundown, we'll ride in anyway. You tell the laser J and circle star to get ready. That's the stuff. Hi, Frank. Hello, Black Blackie. Well, well, there ain't old Pete. 
What are they doing in off the range? The boss just called in the whole outfit. Hey, biscuit shooter. Hi, Cinderella. Put on some more beans. There'll be 15 extra for dinner tonight. I wish I had some rough on rats. What are you poking around back here for? Wendy, cooking ain't so bad as getting shot. We're in a tight spot. I might want to get out of here fast. And you ain't no friend of Nevada? Anything but. Son, I'm with you till Gabriel blows his horn. I'll keep my eye on him. Here, take this. I ain't no engine giver. Besides, you might need it. You know, you ain't out of here yet. Where's Nevada? In his study. Playing out his campaign like a little general. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's a fire. There's a hey, fire, boys, and put it sacks. Oh, it's all right. Who's got that fire? How do I know? Get after those two and bring them back here. Here! Elbows! Come on, men. We're right in. Where's Johnny? Go find him. <laughs> Margaret, where's Johnny? I never want to see him again. We quarreled. I'm going back to Boston. Ma'am, go anywhere you like, but first tell me, where's Johnny? What makes him so stubborn? He started for the Buttes an hour ago to find Cassidy. Why, the darn fool! Come on, boy, let's go!
boys, get both of them. Where'd you get that iron? Stole it from Rivetti. All right, get her hot. Say, that's fancy shooting, partner. It's getting hot here. Why don't they come out in the open and fight like men? There's the umbrella. Nevada figured was shot by the gambler yesterday. Napoleon slipped up on that one. Somebody else taking a hand. <laughs> Here I am, right on time as usual. Well, who invited you? Come on. That's a friend of Bill Cassidy's. Maybe we got them all. Stick them up. Come on, get around here. Give me that gun. Wait a minute. We're taking him back to Nevada. Get going. Kid? Why, sure. That was a fine trick. You might have broke my neck. If you don't learn to do what you're told, someday I'm gonna have to. Here comes a bunch of riders. What's in there? Careful, kid. He's tricky. <clears throat> Gentlemen, at your service. What you? Searching, Johnny. Oh, no need of that, gentlemen. I'll be glad to go with you peaceably. I feel sure of fair treatment at your hands. I know we can come to some equitable arrangement satisfactory to us all. Remember what you said to Cinco, boss? <laughs> we all have to die sometime. <laughs> Did you 
Think you live forever? <laughs> ah, too bad. He sure could talk pretty. Yeah, he had me fooled. We owe you a lot, Cassidy. Cassidy? Jim, there's a lot of fine cattle around here. I reckon we'd better get them back where they belong. I'll be heading back here one of these days, if I'm invited. She'll be waiting for you, Johnny. Well, I kind of figured she would be. Where are you going? Oh, no wonder they call me an old windbag. All that talk I'd done about knowing you. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm not riding back to the bar 20 with her. Son, I'm with you till she blows up. Let's go. Comes from out the sky. There's one place to be when the moon hangs high. Let's go. 